Hey everyone, this is Mark, and uh, we are now selling uh, some Sargent Art uh, Modeling Clay, and it's a Plastilina Clay, and uh, it's actually pretty cool that we are able to offer this on our site. Um, we found a supplier uh, where we get a pretty good deal on it, and we can offer it at a, at a fair price. This clay comes in a lot of really nice colors. Here we have some, some uh, flesh tone. Um, it's actually, it says here it's terracotta. But as you can see, it's pretty much the, the flesh tone color from, from their line of clay. Um, there's red, there's, there's blue, uh, there's black, and so forth. Uh, I just want to kind of go over a little bit about how to use this clay uh, for anybody who wants to make clay puppets. Um, first thing is uh, you're going to have an armature. And we sell this, uh, this wire, of course, in our store as well. Um, some art shops sell this. It's just 16th inch gauge wire. And um, so when you make your armature, you make it from wire. Uh, that's better than using ball and socket armatures uh, because the oils don't get inside the joints and loosen them, which is in clay. There's a lot of oils in clay. So um, basically you take your wire, you bend it into shape, and uh, there's also, we have some tutorials on our YouTube channel of how to do that. But um, you want to use like a heat gun like this, and you want to uh, take a piece of clay and hold it in front of your uh, heat gun and apply it to your wire first and when that cools it'll actually stick really well to your armature. Now smoothing the clay what I do is I use uh, mineral oil like this which is really cheap it's like two dollars in a uh, pharmacy and what you do is you just kinda you can um, dip your, uh, your a small soft brush like this in it um, and then if there's any excess oil on your brush, you just kind of take it off with a, a paper towel and you can get into fine details, kind of like this. So it's a great way to smooth out the clay. Um, you can also put a, a drop on your finger and go over the clay like this and it actually comes out really nice. So uh, that's how you smooth it. Okay, uh, for mixing colors, um, you can use a double boiler such as this. Basically a double boiler is just where you put water in one pot, put another pot on top, make sure that they can't, it interlocks of course, you don't want to have like a, a pot that can fall off and burn you, so be very careful. Um, of course do this at your own risk, but you can take uh, two different colors such as, you know, flesh and this red color and you can get more of a deeper fleshy pink color, um, which is what I did for Captain Quill here, you can see his his little eyelids are sort of an in-between of red and flesh, okay? So that's a typical way to do it. So you just take, uh, for example, uh, one line or bar of this and a small cube of red, and you gradually add one color to the next inside your double boiler. And it will melt and it won't burn because uh, it won't get hotter than the boiling water below it. Um, and the other trick you can use put this down here, uh, is a pasta roller. And so you can get these in um, like a you know Bed Bath & Beyond or maybe Macy's, like those kind of stores. Um, or even online, uh, they sell these and I think I've seen them in Michael's. Um, so basically you just take your clay, two different colors, put it in here, make sure your setting is where these two rollers are set wide apart, the widest possible and you just stick your clay in here and you roll it through, it comes out and you fold it over, put it back in and repeat that process and you'll get a brand new color. You can see here uh, one of my puppets which is uh, Bebop from Meet the Raisins and uh, the colors here that I used were, were many. Uh, I think I used flesh and purple and uh, some blue tones I think. There's a little hair in his mouth there. Uh, but different colors uh, are almost always used for making puppets, so um, it's always good to know how to do that. Um, if you're sculpting this clay and you don't really know how to where to start, um, you'll need a tool, something similar to this. It's a 007 wax spatula. Uh, there's many tools out there. There's wooden tools, there's steel tools, and plastic. Uh, whatever you find best, you know, whatever you're comfortable with is what you should use. This just happens to be what I like and I've sculpted most of my puppets with. For example, you can see 
Uh, here there's two little creases in his pants and I just use the end of this tool here like that. Um, also here like this you can see where I shaped the shirt, you know, his shirt like this. Um, there's other tools where I've poked holes in these buttons for details. Um, but mostly you can see how just one tool like this can get all these kind of lines and, uh, and curves and things like that. So any kind of tool like this is, is very helpful in sculpting your, your Sergeant Art Clay. So if you have any questions at all about our new line of modeling clay for making puppets, just uh, drop me a line or uh, send me an email here on this site, and I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.